Hi, and welcome back to MyExcelOnline.com. Today we are going to show you how to count up values after you have put them through the filter process in Microsoft Excel. Here I have a spreadsheet, and what I have is a bunch of species, the population of that species, and the kind of habitat they're found in. And over here I have a total of the population, but what I would like to do is change this total based on filtering out the data that I have right here. So right now this total is for everything, but what if I only want it for forest or savanna or tundra? How would I get that to sum up just that data right here? Well, today we are going to show you two different ways to do that. Also, we will have some additional training options for you at the end of this video, so stick around for that. What if I want to get a quick total after I had filtered out my data? It's a good idea to put all of your data in a table in Excel. So if you were to highlight your data set, you could just come up here to insert and then click table right here to get your data in a table. Second, if you don't have these down arrows right here, you can go over to data and make sure the filter is turned on. So the first way to know the population number for specific animals in a specific habitat. I could click filter right here and let's uncheck select all and let's just pick our forest animals and say okay. So then I could just highlight my population here, look down here on my status bar and I can see that my sum is 283,500. Now if you don't have sum showing up down here you can right click on the status bar and you can put some more calculations here. We can put minimum, maximum, count, average, or sum. And now if I go back here and I change my habitat, I take off forest and I put desert and say okay. Now I can look down and my sum is different. But that's going to entail highlighting my data. What if I want to just automatically calculate this and not have to look down at the status bar? There are two options I could use for that. If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. So let's go over here and take the filter off by checking the select all box and say OK. And I'm just going to click in E1 and I'm going to type the subtotal function. So I'm going to type equals subtotal with a left parenthesis. And you can see that I have some options here for what I want to do. These look very similar to what was available to me on the status bar. But I'm going to scroll down to 109, which is a sum. And I'm going to double click that. And then I'm going to type a comma. And then I'm just going to select everything I have from B2 all the way down to B29 and hit enter. And now I can see this is a pretty large number. It's 30 million something. But now watch, if I go to habitat, and I take off my select all, and I just put on forest and say OK, I can see my subtotal is now 283,500. And I can double check that by highlighting this and looking down at my status bar. And you can see down here, it does say 283,500. Now if I change this, let's say to desert, by unchecking forest and then checking desert and say OK, I can now see that I have 651,560. I can see that down the status bar and right here. So that is working correctly. But let me show you a second option that we have. So I'm going to click on another version of this spreadsheet and I'm going to use the aggregate function. So in E1, I'm going to type equals aggregate, A-G-G-R-E-G-A-T-E -E, with a left parenthesis. And the first thing I'm going to be asked for is what's my function number? So in other words, what kind of function do I want to do? Well, in this case, I'm going to pick sum, which is also a nine, and double click on that, and then type a comma. And then I will be presented with some options here. So in this case, because I'm going to be doing some filtering, I'm going to want option number five, which is to ignore hidden rows. So let's double click that and type a comma. And then next I'm going to be asked for my array. In other words, where is all my data? So I'm going to highlight B2 all the way down to B29, close my parentheses, and hit enter. 
and I can now see that I'm back to the 30 million. But if I go to my habitat here, and I uncheck the select all, and just select forest and say OK, you can see that the aggregate function is doing the same thing. And if I go back to habitat, let's say I have forest and desert, and I say OK. So you can see that this total here is for both forest and desert. If you would like further explanation on this, I'm going to include the link to our blog entry in the description on YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotion and pay rises that you deserve, then click up here and join our Academy online course today.